Hello students, today we shall discuss the extracts Emma. Jane Austen was born on 16 December 1715 at United Kingdom. Kingdom. Her novel Emma was published on 23rd December 1815. Mr. and Mrs. John Knightley decides to visit Surrey to meet Mr. Woodhouse. Mr. Woodhouse is the father of Mrs. John Knightley. So for several days, they did not uh, did not went to Surrey to meet her father. Now the family decides to go to Surrey to visit Mr. Woodhouse. So the marriage of Mr. and Mrs. John Knightley had been divided between Hartfield and Donwell. Hartfield is a uh, for, is the father's house of Mrs. John Knightley and Donwell is Mr. John Knightley's house. Mr. Woodhouse was worried about his daughter's journey to his house. Mr. Woodhouse greatly loved his daughter, Mrs. John Knightley. He wasn't worried about his horses and coachmen. He did not bother about the horses and the coachmen which carried Mr. and Mrs. John Knightley's family to Hartfield. He just bothered only about his daughter's family. Finally, Mr. and Mrs. Knightley's family reached Hartfield safely. So, the family along with five children, nursemaid and other members finally reached Hartfield safely. Mr. and Mrs. John Knightley's arrival to Hartfield was celebrated by their family members. All the family members, Mr. Woodhouse especially, he especially loved his daughter and he was very happy when Mrs. John Knightley's family arrived to Hartfield. They all welcomed the family. Mrs. John Knightley, she just loved her five children and her husband and she gave maximum freedom to her five children. She gave utmost freedom to her children to play, to eat and to sleep and she never allowed her children to disturb her father. As I told, she greatly loved her father and she did not, she never allowed her children to disturb her father. Mrs. John Knightley, she was a very pretty, affectionate and devoted wife. She greatly respected her husband and also took care of her children. She was tenderly attached to her father and sister. She greatly, uh, she was greatly attached to her father as well as sister. Mrs. John Knightley was not a woman of strong understanding and quickness. She was not a woman of strong understanding. She was not that intelligent and she was not quick. She was very slow in her work. Even though she was very slow in her work, but she was a devoted woman. Mrs. John Knightley greatly respected her father and the ways of Hartfield. She also respected the family of Hartfield, the traditions and customs which was followed in Hartfield. She greatly respected that. Mrs. John Knightley was overprotective about her children. She overly protected her children and she was very delicate, delicate in her health. She often used to visit her family doctor. Even her father, Mr. Woodhouse, used to meet his family doctor very often. Now, let us discuss about the character of Mrs. Mr. John Knightley. Mr. John Knightley was a tall gentleman arising in his profession. He was deeply respected by people. So, he was deeply respected by people. People used to speak with him and they cared for him because of his good nature. Mr. John Knightley was a tall gentleman. He was rising in his profession. He was very intelligent. He was very clear clever and uh, unlike his wife, he was very intelligent. See, both the wife and husband, they had different characters and also their personal traits, personality traits were also different. But even though they had a good adjustment with each other, they loved each other and both of them took responsibility in bringing up the children. And they also respected the customs and traditions of Hartfield. So to conclude, Mr. and Mrs. John Knightley had a strong understanding with each other. 
they had a strong understanding with each other indeed with such a worshipping wife it was hardly possible that any natural defect in mr john should not be increased so even though mr john nightly had some he did not had any patience by looking at his wife he could bring back all his patience and he respected other people and also he respected the father in the family of hartfield and also he greatly loved his wife